Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to customize the Avenger with the new customization options that we have the ability uh, to add to this vehicle. You can also go ahead and go on the Warstock website if you guys are interested in it and start up the, uh, the new missions by purchasing the operations terminal here. You may notice it's been added. It's going to cost you $1,450,000, which is a lot of money. I'm not sure how much it pays yet. I haven't actually done the missions yet. Uh, so I don't know if it's 100% worth it or not, but if you guys are interested in starting the new missions, that is where you're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, so anyways, let's enter in. So anyways, let's enter into the Avenger here and see what new customization options await us here. Obviously, it's weird seeing the Avenger in the hangar, but it is kind of cool at the same time. So anyway, let's customize this thing uh, we got some charlie upgrades that we can do right here uh, for the operations terminal you can also add that in here you can add the mammoth avenger thruster into the avenger hold which is pretty interesting we have autopilot defenses which you can go and add a stealth module as well as a missile lock on jammer with the engine with the avenger which is insane so if you have autopilot people can't lock onto you you can also have the stealth module though which hides the avenger from enemy radars or maps when autopilot is engaged this is going to be hell on earth if you're getting griefed by an avenger and they have stealth mode because you're not even going to know where it is on the mini map so both of these things are pretty good. I would say the stealth module is just a little bit better though, so that's what I'm going to go for today. Primary weapons, you can also add a front top mounted turret um, as opposed to having front top and rear turrets. Um, so you should definitely have front top and rear turrets instead of just a uh, front mounted turret for sure. You can also add machine guns onto this thing which will go on the underside just in front of the landing gear there. Let's do that 195k as well as a missile launcher that will also go right beside it. Uh, so that's the new Charlie upgrade stuff that we can put on this thing. You also have the, your typical armor upgrades, your bombs, your countermeasures, your engine and your handling upgrades. Now we do have some new livery options for the Avenger uh, with the new update today. We have the basic camo, Zancudo camo, sprayed camo, three color outline, and I think the 90 sandbox may have been new. We also had one more that was new down here somewhere. Uh, are there any other new ones? Large geometric, large digital, maybe not. Maybe these aren't new actually. Now we also have the hunting camo livery, the pink and green camo, Santo Capra coins livery, Sasenta Nove Multicolor and uh, Dolla Dolla as well. Um, so nothing really new there, honestly. Uh, it's it's all pretty pretty much the same stuff that it had before. Kind of like my crew color on this thing, so I'm actually going to change that as well uh, because obviously we can do that. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to keep the secondary matte black though, kind of like the look of it. Uh, so let's exit the aircraft workshop and let's actually exit the hangar itself and uh, see the uh, the new upgrades that the Avenger has got. Now, interestingly enough, with the Avenger. Uh, they've also changed the key to go into hover mode uh, from, I believe it was H before, or maybe you had to press E. Um, now you have to hold G. Now you have to hold G and that will change you into uh, into uh, flying mode or plane mode as well. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I actually kind of like this change a little bit. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, now the machine guns that are on this thing, I think... They might be pretty powerful. I'm not 100% sure on this. We're going to find out real quick. Uh, as soon as we run into something to blow up, uh, they don't seem like they're that good. Maybe I didn't hit enough shots. Let's see. Let's shoot this uh, Shoot this Meriwether. Uh, oh, that's not a Meriwether Jeep. Never mind. My bad. Um, actually, maybe they do a decent amount of damage. I'm really not sure. Um, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to try to let's let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can land this thing and uh, maybe we'll be able to figure out um, if it does a lot of damage or not, if we land in, say, the middle of the road and wait for a car to come towards us. I feel like that's going to be pretty much the only way to, uh, to tell if this thing actually does a good amount of damage or not. Unfortunately, we just missed that, uh, the vehicle right there. Let's wait for, let's wait for something to, something to pull up on us here. And, uh, we'll see, we'll see how the, uh, how the Avenger, uh, how the Avenger fares nowadays, uh, with these new upgrades. Oh, the police are here. I see. Okay, well, let's... You know what? Unfortunately for them, they're going to be our test subjects uh, today. So let's see. Let's see how they fare um, against the Avengers new machine guns. It seems like... Oh, uh, they do They do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. I think they do more than the buzzard, I would say, for sure. Uh, you can also switch uh, weapons. You can switch to the homing missiles or non-homing missiles as well, by the way. Uh, these seem like they have some pretty aggressive tracking. I could be wrong. They're not fully spammable, by the way, either. I'm just going to let you guys know that as well. 
because I feel like that is pretty important to know. But it is nice to have homing and non-homing, honestly. I think that is uh, it is kind of important because, like, I have cops on me right now. So if I was trying to shoot a player, um, it would be hard if I didn't have the ability to uh, switch to non-homing missiles as well. And, of course, it still has the bombs and everything like that that you, uh, that you will want. So... That is, uh, that is pretty good. This, the, these new changes are honestly, I think they're pretty good for the Avenger. I think they maybe, maybe the Avenger should have had this all along. Uh, but you know what? Better late than never. And, uh, you know, the change from, uh, from holding, um, E or whatever it was to switch to VTOL, uh, or switch between VTOL mode and, uh, and plain mode with the Avenger, it is nice and it works a little bit better as G where you can uh, just press G to open the, uh, the, landing gear and then you can hold g to uh, switch it into VTOL mode or into uh, into plane mode as well so that is a nice upgrade and a nice change for for the pc version at least i'm not sure if that will have changed on console but on pc it definitely did so uh, that is something new for sure um yeah it's definitely it's definitely good to see the avenger have some uh, have some new toys and some new uh, some new tricks up its sleeve for sure so yeah good good stuff um Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you uh, if you found this helpful or useful at all, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, dislike, of course. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'm covering everything to do with the update today. I've already covered uh, pretty much all the customizations and everything like that. Uh, so go check that out if you guys haven't already. And uh, yeah, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.